Duke's Paul, yeah, big advantage, I reckon, New Zealand. I don't think New Zealand are massive, uh, India are massive favourites, actually. I, I fancy New Zealand. I think they've got every kind of base that's covered. You know, they've got some good quicks, quality batsmen, um, top-class wicketkeepers on a bit of a swan song. So I reckon New Zealand are going to be... I've got New Zealand's favourites. Duke's Ball, I think, two class bowling attacks. I don't think the it's going to be a massive advantage either way. I think, agree with Colo, a couple of games up front for New Zealand um, will be a big advantage, I think. Get their feet on the table, get used to conditions. Some of the players have been here playing county cricket, so they're playing and they're used to conditions. India, though, under Coley, you know, they're going to be up for it. They want to be the best team. They want to win this tournament. So I think it's, there's not much in it. Uh, I like New Zealand. I've just got this thing in the back of my mind. New Zealand losing the World Cup final a couple of years ago. You know, the, almost the nearly men, as it were, for the last few years. I think it just might be their year this year. No. Oh, I think so. I think, especially from a bowling unit, you know, you know what you're going to get. You know, both the south, you're going to swing the ball. Wagner's going to bang it in. I think Jameson, for me, is the one, really, who's the, a bit of a shiny light, really. There was a lot of questions. He played in New Zealand over the winter. Um, he hadn't played much cricket overseas. People were kind of worried about how he might go in the IPL. Actually, you know, he had a massive price tag in the IPL, over $2 million. Actually, he quit himself pretty well in the end. So coming over to England, he's pumped. He looks up for it. Um, reading the articles in the media, um, he seems like he might just be that little X factor for New Zealand. I think, um, will New Zealand get the runs or is it going to be a high scoring game? Is it going to be a 350, 400? I think it might be one of these 280, 300, a bit of a dogfight. I just want to see how the game is played between the two sides. What kind of atmosphere there is. Is it a really kind of hard fought battle playing for the World Test Championship or is it played a little bit more of a, you know, we see a lot of test cricket nowadays, not really that scrap because the players are playing a lot of cricket with each other in the IPL. I'd love to see a good hard fought game with a bit of needle and a bit of banter. <laughs> Someone getting under Coley's skin, maybe a BJ Watling because he's never going to have to come against Coley and, and the Indians again, and just get under the Indian skin, have a real good battle. You, you